overview of directed number core skills. Adding and subtracting with directed number, we have a couple of things that we need to do. Check for two signs together. and rewrite. What I mean by that, 3 minus 14, no, this number's got one sign, it's positive. This number's got one sign, it's negative. Negative 4 minus negative 3. Here's a culprit. Here is two signs together. This one's okay, it's only one sign, but here, two signs together. Here, negative 2 plus negative 5. This one's fine, only one sign. But here, two signs together. Uh-uh. So the rule is, we have to remember, taking away a negative minus a negative, that is basically a plus. Taking away a negative thing is a good thing. When I'm taking away homework, so you don't have to do any homework, that's good. Homework's a negative, but taking it away is a positive. Adding a negative, that's a negative. I add more homework. Homework is a negative thing, and I add lots and lots of homework that you have to do. That's a negative. So when I say check for two signs together and rewrite, you're using that reasoning to say, hey, this is really the same as negative 4 plus 3. This is really the same as negative 2 minus 5. And then your strategy is to start on the first number and use the number line. Sorry, I went for very small writing there. I should have left myself more space. So your strategy here, start on the first number, 3, and go take away 14 minus negative is down to the left. So 3 and 14 steps into the negative. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, 13, 14. That equals negative 11. This question, because we rewrote it, it's easy to follow this step. Start on the first number and use the number line. Negative 4 plus 3. Plus is that way. Negative 4, 1, 2, 3. This is negative 1. Start on the first number, negative 2, and follow the instructions of the second one. Take away 5. Take away is that way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is negative 7. So if you follow these steps and use your number line, you'll always get adding and subtracting correct. Multiplying and dividing has different rules because it's a different sort of maths. Multiplying and dividing, your steps are Work out if it's a positive or negative answer. Then find the number answer. And we'll just put in here, work out if it's positive or negative, what's the rule? If I've got a negative times a negative or a negative, oops, divided by a negative, I will get a positive answer. If I've got a positive times a negative, or a negative times a positive, or a positive divided by a negative, or a negative divided by a positive, I will get a negative answer. So, You've got to work out if it's positive or negative, and then use the grid to get the number answer.
So, 6 times negative 2. 6 is positive, negative 2, so a positive times a negative. Positive times a negative, anything where it's two different signs multiplied or divided together, it's going to be a negative answer. So that says it'll be a negative answer, and 6 times 2, use your grid if you need to, 6 times 2 is 12, so it's negative 12. Negative 3 times negative 4. Now you can do these steps in either order. So you could use the grid for the number answer and then work out if it's positive or negative. 3 times 4. 3 times 4 is 12. Negative times a negative. Positive. It's a positive 12. Negative 18 divided by 6. Let's get the answer with the grid. Now when we're dividing, you go to the number we're dividing by, the 6, go down until you get to the first number, 18, and go across, and my answer is 3. Negative divided by a positive, two different signs, multiplied or divided together, negative answer. So that's how you use the steps and the grid to multiply or divide. It's a different rules for adding and subtracting and multiplying and dividing. Powers. Squaring a number, multiply two copies of it, not multiply by two, multiply it by itself. So four squared means four times four. You use your grid. 4 times 4, 16. Negative 3 squared means negative 3 times negative 3. This is a multiplication problem now. 3 times 3 is 9. Negative times negative is positive. So negative 3 squared is just 9. Order of operations. Remember, do any sums in brackets first. That's the B in bod mass. Do any powers second. That's the O, powers of numbers. Do any multiplying and dividing left to right. And last we do any adding and subtracting left to right. Now what I mean by left to right is if I had 3 divided by, oh, let's make it something easy, 10 divided by 5 times 2. 2, you wouldn't say, oh, I multiply first, I read my whole number sentence and I go, I've got multiplication and division happening here and I need to work left to right. I need to do this division first because it comes furthest on the left. 10 divided by 2 is 2. Then I'd need to do that times 2, which is 4. Okay. So when I say left to right, I mean any multiplications and any divisions left to right along the page. So this example here, there's no sums in brackets. This isn't a sum in the bracket. It's just a bracket telling us, hey, this negative belongs to the 2. Any powers of numbers? No powers. Any multiplying and dividing? Aha. Uh -huh. So you underline the thing that you want to do for this step. And you keep everything else. So I'm going to have to do negative 3 plus whatever I get here. So I'm going to write that down. 4 divided by negative 2. Positive divided by negative is a negative. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So I've got negative 3 plus negative 2. Now it's an easy sum to do if we remember to add and subtract correctly. Two signs together. Plus and a minus makes it a minus. So we rewrite negative 3 minus 2. And because we're adding and subtracting, we use our number line. Start on the first number, negative 3. 
and take away two steps, one, two, negative five.